Traders, I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. I quite like this price action. The only thing with this is this lower high, lower low on the higher time frame, break of structure. So you just want to be a little bit careful. Okay, so there's your break of structure bearish. And uh, this is traded into, well, we've got this bullish, uh, sorry, bearish order block up in here. And it's also traded into uh, this, the high of this range here, tapped into it. Uh, obviously, there's uh, buy side liquidity resting up in here. We'll have a look at it on the uh, four hour. So uh, the liquidity that's uh, above this range prior to this expansion to the downside, that's what it's tapped into. You know, my bias is actually bullish. I think this will trade further north. However, in saying that, where it's currently uh, traded to, and given the fact that there's a ton of liquidity sitting up in here, you can see the re reaction. I would expect this to pull back all right now we have a four hour trend going on here if we uh, mark that up stay in drawing mode grab that you know i really like this price action high low retrace sell uh, sorry low high retrace buy <laughs> what i'm talking about low high retrace buy low high retrace into equilibrium and buy right so we have this pattern going on here the other thing with this time frame we have uh, this thin candle so we've got a uh, bullish imbalance that this could trade through so we'll just mark that up get out of drawing mode here all right double click just want to have this on the uh, on the chart and then go down uh, go down the time frame so we've got a uh, four hour bullish imbalance and uh, if you look at this from this trend price swing i'm looking at you know we could pull the price swing from this low here Right, given that this was where this move originated, you can see the red candle. So bullish order block right there, institutional order block. So we'll just mark that up for our time frame. You don't want to be buying at a premium. I mean, this is running bullish. Uh, if I pick up the Fibonacci, I'd like to see the, a move down into equilibrium being 50% of this, this price range, this price swing, and uh, it trades through rebalances <clears throat> excuse me now we also have another imbalance under for our time frame this uh, bullish green candle thin candle nothing left and right of it oops wrong thing hang on imbalance All right so it could pull back into the 50 to 61.8 this is a potential target here and here as is this red candle and i mean you know you've got to look at the imbalance you've got to look at the, the you know it, it could react off this point or it could trade back down into the order block and react off that, or it could go for a deeper pullback. Looking to take out liquidity under this range. You've got to watch out. So let's just mark that up as a uh, liquidity pool. All right. But uh, the thing to watch for this would be, yeah, see, we've got uh, sell-side liquidity under here. That, that could also be a target. No? That could be a shallow pullback into the 50 there, rebalancing, all right? Or it could. So the thing to watch for would be when it pulls back, and I do this in every one of my videos. If you're in front of the chart, I mean, there's two things you can do. One, you can speculate, right? So let's just do that. To start with here's a speculation buy, and I'm going to go off the 61.8 fib. Well, the high of this imbalance will do. That's a pretty deep pullback, and my stop loss would go at least under this midpoint of this uh, bullish order block i mean you know or you could you know you don't want to set a you know ridiculously wide stop so there's risk involved here guys this thing's volatile it could pull back and take that stop out for sure All right so just be careful now there's a uh two point a two point five r if we go for this this price range high two point five r target looking at okay this liquidity pull up in here so that's that's quite a nice target 2.5 r now depending on your uh thing with this right there's another target here again and, and this one's 6 r right so what i'm doing is i'm looking at this uh, this range is high to low right this entire range here so see how this is trending up now if this continues on a, in a, on a bullish trajectory i mean we are seeing this kind of a base thing set, setting up under here so it's possible this could continue north then the high of this range would be the target for me and we're looking at you know around the 69 69 8 5 69 8 6 something like that potential target and that's 6r i like that now 
what else can I say about this? Yeah, be careful. So that's speculation. You could set a limit buy down in there and hope for the best. The other thing would be would uh, if you're in front of the charts, I would be going down to a 15 minute time frame, just watching it into just watch it London open, but more importantly, I think that the New York open today, and that will kick off at around eight. Well, at precisely 8 a.m. New York. So let's mark the the New York open. Uh, New York session open. All right. 8 a.m. New York time. I've got my chart set to UTC for New York. And see if we get um, price action playing out. Let's see if it does happen to move down, possibly here. Hopefully, that would be nice. All right. And then we get displacement, break of structure, and the opportunity. All right. So I'd be looking at this price action to, to set up whether it's here, whether it's here. Okay, whether it's down here, if you're in front of the charts, right? So I wouldn't be speculating at the moment. So let's just delete that. At the end of the day, if this is trending down and it starts ranging, you know, I mean, make up your mind and do what you need to do with it. If you're, if you're not in front of the charts, then definitely, you know, a limit buy could be a thing and understand the risk, you right? But I want to see it trade down. And wherever this rotation sets up would be a potential opportunity possibly to buy and you're going to be looking to get involved in the break of market structure as this rotates. All right, that's my take on uh, the uh, on Bitcoin at the moment. I think my bias is bullish, but only after a pullback. And let's see how we go with this. Yeah, weak dollar. Uh, asset Risk assets will, will uh, strengthen most likely. But just watch for this pullback. It's Monday. All right, here's, here's the thing. All right, I'll just grab grab this. Think of it this way. Okay, candle, wick, wick, opening. Look at the opening price. So come back over here to midnight New York. So we're looking for 0, 0, 0, 0, wherever that happened. Here it is, right? So midnight New York, there. And uh, we'll go to New York midnight. And what's the opening price? at midnight New York there all right so that's our midnight opening price there all right so we have opening price what I want to see if this is uh, the opening price for the day I want to see this move down and hit the stop under here and rebalance and then continue right so what we're looking for is the open the stop run and then a bullish candle for the day the high and the close. Yeah. Open, low, high and close. All right, so from here, it's the open. Wherever this shapes up, hopefully gives us the low. And then that's the idea, guys. So let's see if we get something like that giving us an opportunity today. Love to hear your thoughts on this. So definitely leave a comment. And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading and we'll see you in the next one.